It's just on the beat. some light Let's see. okay hey ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel today I'm coming to y'all with um, an issue that I was having with the amplifier that was inside my car it was having like some type of a shortage um, the sound my subwoofer would go in and out but it would still play but it it's like it was losing power but you could tell it was like some type of a shortage. So um, this is the amp. Uh, that I'm gonna be working on. Um, first off, I want y'all all to know if you have an amp, uh, any type of electronic that you're thinking about opening up and trying to work on, First off, if you have a warranty on it, just use the warranty. Take it back, send it back, or whatever. But if you're in the case, in the situation I'm in with this old amp, I had it for a long time. And um, so, um, you know, I normally, if if I can still use it, I don't, I don't really try to buy new things if I don't have to. So I'm thinking maybe I could go inside open it up and see where the problem is coming from um, so like I said if um, you have a warranty use it and do all things at your own risk um, I do the same exact same thing It's things that I've messed up and it's things that I've actually fixed Hello. Hey, how you doing? Okay, I apologize for that. Uh, had a phone call from a friend slash coworker uh, calling to check up on me. I appreciate that. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I already opened the back of it. Show you. But you know, this is the front, of course, and this is the back where I took off the back, and that's what I'm gonna be working. That's the area of the amp I'm gonna be working in. So, um, stay tuned to what I'm about to do, and um, good luck with your project if you have one going on, or if you're trying to fix an amp or whatever it is you're trying to fix. Good luck with that. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's some of the tools I feel like I would need for this project. A small screwdriver, some solder, a soldering iron, okay, now that we got that out the way of the things we may need to use. Here's the amp flipping it over and now we're removing the screws the screws are removed from the back side
Okay, now that all the screws are removed, now be careful by flipping it over. You don't want any, to disconnect any wiring. I'm removing the screws and also the side panels. Oh, look, I see the problem already. That's not supposed to be like that. Do you see where I'm talking about? Pushing it back in. That's how it's supposed to be. So, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we found our problem. See, pushing in the slot and that piece in the back is not moving the way it should be. Now we're going back to the side that we have the problem with. I'm going to push it back in. Okay. Now we're going to push in the slot. And boom. Now it's causing no connection like it should be. Now, we're going to have to switch up the tools that we're going to use. Went and got me some JB Well, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. Okay, now we need uh, something to mix our JB Well on. I'm using this little piece of cardboard. Now, here's the steel that we are putting just a dab for just for now now we're gonna add some of the hardener oh almost forgot to show you <laughs> the hardener and we want to add the same amount of hardener that we did the steel now we're going to mix it together so that it blends into a nice shade of gray speed it up a little bit <laughs> there we go now <clears throat> excuse me now what we're going to do is we're going to dab some of this JB Will onto the area that keep getting pushed out And we're gonna add a nice little amount because once this hardens up, it's gonna keep that piece from popping out every time something is put in the slot. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And I'll be right back with you. finished with that part now we're showing you exactly what I did see how I covered that whole little area I don't have it on camera but I also did the other side a little later on down the line just to make sure it doesn't pop out in the near future now we're gonna give it some time to do what it's supposed to do Now we wait for it to cure. 15 to 24 hours. What? Okay. That's a long time. Okay. One hour. Two hours. 
<sighs> I'm getting tired. Three hours. That was a that was some good rest. Okay, now we back and let's give it a try. Boom! Look at that. It's nice and hard. It ain't going anywhere. Thumbs up. We did a good job. Okay. Now let's put this all back together. <laughs>